Washington and your newfound place. We're going to want to talk and let people know about that because you're well known and everything, and everybody knows this guy. But I'll introduce you in the audience. Welcome to Conversation. Pleasure to welcome to pro the program. Uh, a real force for creative uh, input to the uh, broadcast and cable and uh, t cable television productions thing. That being um, that being Paul Slatkus, he's the founder and the president, I guess, of Good News Broadcasting now. But he's had a long experience in the industry, and he's just found a new location, which is really wanting to let everyone know. And Paul, it is so good to welcome you, my dear good friend. All right, Harold. What can I say? I'm oh. crazy about you. You're doing a great job. Well, Thank the you. Mutual Admiration Society <laughs> is always. But anyway, share just quick, because you've been on a number of times with me and others, but maybe share quick your, broad, your, your, your background in terms of uh, video or where you were born and raised sure. even. Maybe. Okay. Well, Tarrytown, New York, mm -hmm. uh, up in uh, Westchester County, um, college, uh, Quinnipiac University in Connecticut, uh, master's in Fairfield University in communications. communications. Got a job out of, uh, I did actually the first TV show up there in Fairfield University uh, many years ago. Also uh -huh. ran a jazz festival at uh, Quinnipiac uh, College, you know, University. Uh -huh. Play saxophone, piano, music is my kind of thing. Music man. Huh? Yep, yeah, I love okay. the music world. And uh -huh. uh, then uh, got a position within uh, CBS Television, not mm. far from here actually, right mm. down the street on 57th Street, and. Uh in uh, production and counting the scenery for the soap operas. So yeah, it was a big, big ship there. Yeah. Yeah, CBS. big operation, yeah. 1972 and right. early on, and uh, and television. I I didn't want to go into music in the sense of become a working musician, uh, travel the country, live that lifestyle. It but is an interesting lifestyle, but it's a difficult. I find yeah, family uh, yeah. concerned Almost about as bad that. as being a poet. <laughs> yeah, I imagine. Mean. Although I'm happy to hear you see Ornette Coleman, my good friend, Your won good friend? the Pulitzer. Yes, I did hear Only that. The Congratulations jazz man to in him. History, Winston Marcellus, and then uh, Ornette got the Pulitzer for jazz, which is well, very good. Yeah, it's, mar it's marvelous. Yeah. So I got this job at CBS, mm -hmm. and uh, I was there a couple years in uh, set scenery and art direction and operations. And then when uh, my wife and I went cross country uh -huh. on a trip, and uh, ended up landing a job at Television City in California back in 1972. Television That's early. City. That's early. Yeah. So I've I been mean, doing this 72, whatever, six, seven, eight, 36 What's television years. Television City. Television City is the, here it's called the Broadcast Center where they make the TV shows yeah. on 57th. Out there it's called Television City. That's CBS? CBS, okay. Television City, right. and they had Studio City. But Television City, so the likes of All in the Family, Sonny and Cher, Carol Burnett, uh, Price is Right. Uh, we're being produced there? We're all being produced there. We did the Welcome Back, Connor, John Travolta's first uh, entry into television. Those are iconic programs. All uh, in the Family was something all, else. All Lear, of, Lear was Lear. All of them. We did Norman Board, Lear? Good Times. Yeah. These Wouldn't guys. Norman Lear? It sure was. Yeah, right, right. He did some good stuff. That was so funny. It was man. marvelous. Well, yeah. that w that show was actually the thing, the program that said to me, I want to be in communication. Okay. Because there was a show that, uh, in essence, showed a bigot on, yeah, yeah. on television, and yeah. television accepted it. CBS yeah. agreed uh -huh. to broadcast the program where they were saying, you know, kinds of uh, not such nice things about Ding people. Bat and, and, and so on, Meathead and yeah, Pollock, right. and, and they, 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 he went for it all, right? Sally Struthers, yeah. Yeah, yeah. so uh, um, I said to me, that's, and it was, you know, and they did it somehow, you would laugh and you would cry. Yeah, you yeah, know? yeah. It had it, all the emotions. Yeah, it was very satirical and, uh, you mm -hmm. know, and, and, and a, a spoof. It was well, a spoof. A bigot, if you understood, Queens, it was a spoof. Yeah, you know, yeah. I think it's, yeah, you know, it's yeah. just like some of these new shows out here, Family Guys and the yeah. South Parks. You know, they're big spoofs. So, you know, yeah. maybe somebody will get offended, but uh, in essence, they're spoofing it around. It's like yeah. the comedians on television now. So you were involved at what level then? So you there, were? I was uh, became assistant manager of the studios, and our okay. responsibility was the sets, the scenery, the lights, um, putting up the scenery, the uh, the show stagehands. Uh, it was a big. Yeah, it was a small sure. operation, but what it really did was teach me. You know, Hollywood is show business. You yeah, know, the right. town is a show business town. Mm -hmm. Big, beautiful shows, Shirley MacLaine specials, Dinah Shore, mm -hmm. Frank Sinatra coming in there. And you had to do the sets and everything there? Well, I or, didn't or physically do the sets. I managed no, I know, but you the managed management. It. Yeah, right. Management of the uh, the set decorators, the designers, the uh, um, the stage hands, mm -hmm. you know, a, t a bunch of the, uh, you know, the, the stage crew. But you were learning the, learning the business. Too. I learned the business, and so I was there for two years, mm -hmm. and then we, in essence, decided to move back to, uh, to, uh, mm -hmm. Um, New York. 
Okay, raise, raise yeah. a family. How long were you out there? Just uh, two years. Okay, but it two was years. Two years. Formative years. Yeah. Formative years, and in essence, when I left there, they owed me four months worth of compensating time. Oh, really? I, I work like an animal yeah. uh, every oh, weekend. You're, and you're workaholic. I am a workaholic. Okay. I will say okay. that. I, yeah. uh, I I like what I do. Mm -hmm. I like television. I like the production. And then we came back, and I went to the Captain Kangaroo show here. Oh, really? As a production manager. Iconic. Right. Man. Another classic. Yeah. Uh, 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 talent doing the same kind of thing there I was uh, became production manager oh, that's so different production management is in essence not only those crafts of stage hands and uh, lighting directors and set decorators that is really the management uh, uh, representative the to the production company so okay. uh, uh, okay, yeah. Keishan had his own production company mm -hmm. Mr. Keishan and uh, and we would be the representative from CBS working on that show making sure that all the aspects of producing a show at CBS was uh, Going uh, in the, in the manner that he felt was proper. So you were getting a, at a production uh, at a management level. Management. I was yeah. in management, I guess, all the time. And mm -hmm. uh, and as a production manager, you work on different shows. Yes. And uh, uh -huh. I came back and worked on some news programming, you WCBS okay. News, uh -huh. uh, Little Network News, uh, mm -hmm. um, and then did some soap opera work and became actually an associate producer of Love of Life soap opera. Wow. Okay, um, that's a big. And that was a big deal as well the in the sense of. Was it was the second uh, oldest uh, s uh, Search for Tomorrow started, uh -huh. and uh, Love of Life was the second one, maybe two, three months or something, mm -hmm. short amount of time. I once knew a fellow who wrote for that, you know, Ooh. and it was a five, I forget the name, but it was a friend of a, fr uh, the daughter I, the, the, was my friend, and he wrote for it, and he was so busy to keep the continuity and the <laughs> characters, and he worked 20 hours a day writing those soap opera scripts. Well, it was a real big job, you know. Well, there, you know, the 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 content is is king, and they, uh, mm -hmm. you know, had to continue on with the themes of the of the programs and uh, what would what would work, what wouldn't work, and uh, we had a great director there, Larry Auerbach. He was one of the first directors in soap operas. He really. He ruled this stage, and the uh, director is very important in terms of television production. He they they say movies are a director's medium. Television, uh, the director is very important. We have a, f a fellow associate here, John Steinmetz, who was a director for many decades at ABC, and there were very few of them, and they had a very very organizing principle, and they had a number of people that would be working all synchronously and all professionally. It, it's really a thing so that you don't get any second and no no nanosecond of black or anything. Everything has to work right. And they have a crew in another room that's ready to take over in case anything happens with this when you got a national feed or something. Well, it's yeah. live. Those guys came from the live world, like mm -hmm. you. You know, mm -hmm. this is live television. And, you know, in soap opera land, you could be saying the same words as you said two weeks ago. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, well, that's different. Yeah, that's <laughs> you know, right. That's that right. could happen. So he, he taught, and he taught Bobby Sinto. He's still t he's, uh, directing some shows uh, on ABC now. Mm -hmm. um, those were those were good days. I learned about being a good listener. Actually, mm -hmm. that's one of the things that a, a good actor learns is uh -huh. uh, follow the what's being said, whether it's correct or not correct. It really doesn't matter. What matters is because the audience doesn't know if the line was written this way or was written that right, way. Right, right, But just keep the the, the continuity yeah, good. Yeah, doing producing a product and that kind of thing. Yeah. And then you you were never in front of the camera. I was never you were in front of the camera. You always behind, right? Always in the, behind the camera. Um, you know, played rock and roll band also. And you were doing rock and roll on a, the side? A little bit of music. Did well, you mainly <laughs> a Did little you bit. Did cut anything? Um, I didn't cut, you know, in that part of my life. Uh, Early on, we had made some music. Uh, yeah, I know you got a lot of up. friends, music people, and I artists like, in your bailiwick. I know a lot of yeah, you you know, creative sure type people. But Not then the least of which is Reed Stowe. We're going to want to talk well, maybe a little bit about Reed. Let's talk about Reed. Reed is a great man. Yeah, and, but, uh, well, man no, let's we'll stick get with to the him. television and everything. All right, because well, you're the founding president, uh, and you've been honored and so forth within the uh, established uh, television industry. Uh, on many occasions, and will, uh, and so forth. But um, you, you, you've got the. You're the founding president of the Good News Broadcast, where it's different. You were part of a huge team then. Now you're in charge, as it were, in terms of your thing called the Good News Broadcast. And is it time to maybe we could segue from all that uh, foundational learning you did in the networks 
to the good news broadcasting that you founded and are the president of? Okay. Or is, do we have to... Uh, let me just throw two more seconds in, just me. because I went to Channel 13, okay. W, uh, NET, mm -hmm. uh, PBS, Afters, uh, uh, Love of Life got canceled, Okay. and uh, and I worked there. I became, uh, in essence, a uh, production manager, management position there, helped start the Nature Series, which I'm very proud of, That it's uh, great. Yeah. which is still on. We did yeah. the Brain Series, which at that time was the largest television. 10 hours of uh, programming. Wow. Stayed on that from the beginning Did to the end. Did you have a narrator on that or somebody who carried it the, or the, wrote it? The, the Brain Series, yeah. uh, we, uh, we started off with... Uh, um, well, each show actually had its own. Uh, we had Rich uh, Resnick was a neurosurgeon um, that had different people. Like we started with with, with Nature Series, we had uh, uh, Donald Johansson first, and then George Page took that that George show over. George Page has a voice, right? That's like he was a beautiful, 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 beautiful guy, voice, yeah, and a great guy. And he was he on the Nature Series. He's uh, yeah, he is. He yeah, was the he's visionary. the voice of the Nature. He was the uh, visionary for yeah. and the voice became right. the voice. Different working at a, a, at public television and network. A little different. You know, because you had a lot of volunteers, okay. and uh, the volunteers mm -hmm. are, uh, are 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 beautiful and loving mm -hmm. and caring, similar to Absolutely. what your atmosphere well, is here. Well, we're all volunteers, and it's a beautiful thing to I have mean, at people. At least, as the producers are all volunteers, yeah, right. And so that was a nice thing. And then uh, I left there, and then uh, just to, to fast forward, and the business manager helped start what they call general support announcements, which was. The to uh, car could move a little bit and help to raise money, uh, a couple million dollars for the company. Mm -hmm. And then I went to WNYC, actually, to begin the head of, uh, head of marketing you? for the, that uh, station, yes. which leased out their time to foreign broadcasters. Yeah. And uh, I was there just a short time. 31. Was so that Channel 31. Yeah, so that's 14 years. Uh -huh. And the China You were there that long? No, I was 14 years. Seven with CBS, seven with PBS. I and just see. maybe a, about a year seven with... Seven with PBS years? Yes. Oh, that's a long stint. Yeah, okay, yeah, good. Yeah, both okay, of them, yeah. yeah pretty yeah, long. Yeah, you're really learning what you're doing. Yeah. Somebody told me seven years is a good number for yeah, uh, uh, working someplace. Number. And, okay, yeah, <laughs> and, right. And then uh, I started... At 31, how long were you there? So China 31 was short. It was okay. less than a year uh, because I decided that, you know, I've had, sort of had enough corporate years. And uh, actually the Chinese uh, World Journal newspaper, the largest media in America, said, why don't you come and help us? You understand television. Help sell advertising on our Chinese TV. Okay. And I had produced Were they shows. broadcasting on 31? They were broadcasting on 31, yeah, and right. they had the World Journal newspaper. And, mm -hmm. and they said, uh, we'll give you an office in Chinatown. And I've always been into television philosophically. Yeah. And that, uh, in essence, you know, in essence, good news has always been on my mind. Okay. Of showing the positive aspect of humanity. Yeah. They taught me that in the, the Jesuit uh, graduate school at Fairfield. Okay. You know, that, uh, you know, that's rhetoric. Well, ethics you know, it's mora it's uh, vision. Yeah. And it's understanding communications. You positive. Know, thinking? Pot, well, that we've yeah. talked in the past about yeah. Reverend Norman Vincent Peale, yeah. very effective in my mindset. Mm -hmm. And I've always wanted this. If we're going to watch something, let's watch people doing nice things. We get an awful lot of bad news on the news, don't we? As if it bleeds, well, it leads, as they say. You know, that kind of thing you're familiar with. I'm familiar with. Yeah. That's it. They have a short amount of time. They mm -hmm. throw in things that are, uh, you know, concerning to us all, you know, uh, so I have always said I want to do good news, and then when I had this opportunity to do the multicultural, and I yeah, became an Yeah, you did a lot at 31 with ethnic programs. Well, it was a short time, but then I've had for 23 years, since okay. 1985, a multicultural advertising and marketing company. Okay. So I've helped large corporations, Sprint, IBM, Western Union, Citibank, reach the different ethnic communities. I started as Asian marketing, mm -hmm. and then European communities. So I would targeting marketing. Targeting niche yeah. marketing. I niche was like, marketing. and then I did research into the community. How do you actually... Uh, uh, you know, you go into newspapers, radio. So I would do a commercial in Chinese. I would do it in, uh, in print. I you would, would oversee the production. I yeah. would do, you know, we started the Lunar New Year stamp for the, uh, for the post office. I was Good very, very involved with uh, different ways to reach the ethnic niche markets. Yeah, and All that, of them, and it, I loved it. it. Did that reflect your own conscience about being interested in a wide variety of the human experience? I mean, the, the various, the, 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 the multi, the multi, the wonder of the multiculturalness of the human condition. Itself. 
I think the beauty of it all is uh, there's a lot of different good kinds of food. No, there are <laughs> indeed. Yes, right. You can do a food show. Yeah. No, yes. I, I think you know, especially after that experience of being in the Japanese office, in the Polish office, in the Russian office, in the mm -hmm. Spanish office, in the, all the different, and, and, in the, whatever it was, yeah. I know how to reach, Bulgaria. and I still do. Yeah. I know how to reach all those ethnic communities. Right, right. Uh, uh, you know, I think what I've seen and what I believe is in life is that we're all, in essence, the same. Uh -huh. We're all brothers and sisters. Mm -hmm. We all laugh, we cry, we have mm -hmm. the same emotions, mm -hmm. and uh, in essence, you know that my belief is no countries anyway at uh -huh. all. I'm a believer in one world, uh, yeah. in uh -huh. essence, a John Leninist in that, yeah. in that mannerism. Imagine. Imagine yeah. uh, just... Uh, There's no religions. Uh, you yeah. know, it is what it is. We yeah. are all people, no matter mm -hmm. how we uh, sometimes questioned our... Uh, you know, these segregated ways of living our yeah. lives, you know, yeah. borders, you can't go here, you can't, yeah. that's yeah. a little bit of segregation. So, yeah. in any case, I wanted to make worldwide shows, so yeah. that's why I did the multicultural thing, yeah, because I became yeah. friends with these ethnic communities. Now, that was not good news broadcast. No, that so, what did you call that? Andy? That was called, so initially, Paul Slackus International, my own name, okay. for most of the years, uh -huh. you know, because it's an ad agency. 84, did you say? 85, I 85. started in my house, Okay. and uh, a couple of people left Channel 13, mm -hmm. and uh, and it grew, and then I uh, moved down to, uh, my buddy had Marcelino Mieres had a TV studio, Times Square Studios, mm -hmm. and he gave me a little bit of brownstone, and right. I got him some TV shows, and uh -huh. now it's the Reuters building. Uh -huh. Always <laughs> moving, always moving. Well, yeah. that was yeah. that, and uh, and then 10 years ago, I, uh, I wanted to get back. Uh, one of the clients, one of the major clients, one of the phone companies decided they weren't going to continue on with ethnic marketing. Okay. They wanted to hold up on it, and yeah. I said, I, I want to get back, and I've always been doing it. I, I I went to the ethnic communities knowing that one day I want to put shows in all these countries. Mm -hmm. And if I make friends with people, then maybe they'd help me bring the show Let me on. ask you something. you got different political things like that. Do we, we now have a thing, I don't know if you're familiar, Epic Times is a newspaper now by Chinese, and then they got this New Tongue Dynasty television. Are you familiar with that? Very, I've been They're, on You've been on then. You see, that's Chinese. And they do have, like, they put in the newspaper and on the thing, uh, they have a critique of the communist government of China. So it's political. That ethnic programming you did, you can do ethnic programming that has nothing to do with the political realities of the various countries and so forth. When you were doing ethnic programming, was any of it content-oriented toward political issues and that sort of thing? Or was it just sort of generic cultural? Uh, no, I think it was cultural. all... Cultural. No, 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 no. It was, uh, it was ethnic. It was political. It was the media of the community. Mm -hmm. So the Polish... Noe, and the expatriates, the, the is the are these newspapers, in most cases, are relations of uh, newspapers and uh, of from the homeland. Well, yes, or they so may the be expatriates that aren't particularly well disposed toward their, um, the, what's going on in the homeland now. Like, if you were 30s in the United States, you wouldn't be particularly singing the praises of Adolf Hitler. You understand what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, I understand what you're saying. Yeah. You know, for me, it was, it was about the fact that, you know, I'm, I'm, I try not to be, in essence, judgmental of these kinds of things. If people oh, okay. want to, to uh, uh, and I'm a believer in that, that, you know, if somebody's reading whatever it might be, <coughs> I'm not going to get into, I'm non-political, I'm non-sectarian. Let everybody do what they want to do, and uh, I, I just, in my own, when I have the control of, mm -hmm. of a media, as, you do now as I do now news, with Good yeah. News Broadcast, yeah. I ask that no one, in essence, says anything not nice about anybody else. Okay, well, that's an interesting kind of that's, that's my standard of practice. A lot of what is on the news is people saying things that are not nice about other people or other countries and so forth. Well, you understand? I understand. It's better maybe to avoid that because we get oodles of that kind of thing, don't we? And I think it's, you know, it's, uh, it's, if, if we understood it as, you know, that one man's opinion or one woman's opinion, mm -hmm. if we understood media, mm -hmm. you know, that... Uh, Understanding well, media. Understand meeting is, is the, is in essence, actually my pet, uh, another one of my pet missions uh -huh. is to understand that the sets fall down. The, the I could shoot you this way, and yeah. you're smiling. I could shoot yeah. you with the camera this way. And don't forget and the I lighting. Say, and the lighting. <laughs> and Harold, Harold looks good today, or he looks smiling today. That Harold doesn't look mm -hmm. whatever it might yeah. be, or yeah. Paul the same, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's, it's uh, that understanding. And since we're little kids, we don't, you know, the newspaper has it's someone's opinion of what mm -hmm. they see a situation. Yeah, yeah. Are their thoughts? So you have uh -huh. to put it into perspective your uh -huh. own. I always say, like the Little Prince, follow your own heart. Oh, that, that's for that, good. For that's what. Yeah, uh, that's great. 
eight. For that's yeah. what you see right yeah, there. Yeah, yeah. Okay, and well, that's good. And, it did, and then you finally got, after that ethnic thing, you got a lot of experience, and then you got the Good News broadcast. And then I merged it into Good News broadcast. Okay, and, and that was, when did you get that started? So, 98, uh, 98. July now 4th, I started it. 10 years it. ago. 10 years ago. So, yeah. I'm an early on guy saying, uh -huh. someone, the Sprint lady, uh, Terry Celeste, said to me, well, you know, why don't you just do your television? You don't got to get it by a TV station. You yeah. just do it on the web. I said, what do you mean? She said, yeah, you can do video, you can do audio, and text. I said, what do you mean? So, in essence, yeah. I learned that you could start to stream, and yeah. you could put television and radio, and I knew that at one point, the, uh, the, it looked to me, the, uh, the web screen, the computer screen looks like a TV. Yeah, it sure you know, does. And I thought it would streaming just, everything from here now. It would just yeah. take some time. You know, uh -huh. It's sort of like what happened with regular television and cable television. You yeah. know, it just takes, it's a, uh, it's a period of time. Uh, right. And I was... Uh -huh. You know, involved with that early time. So you were early on in terms of the cyber, the use with of cyber. So television. ten years. People say that yes, I am one of the pioneers, guy, pioneers or one of the uh, people who saw that as a way to get the message that I believe in, uh -huh. which is that the world is good and that we can find and receive and create life-affirming, thought-provoking, good news, entertainment, and events. And it's not you were like an auteur and you were in charge of the whole ball of wax. In, in a essence, sense, and you could do what you want rather than what the client is dictating you have to do. Or pretty much I'm yeah. able to do as I feel yeah, that, uh -huh. uh, um, you know, on our uh, broadcast, I can uh, sort of call what's happening. I'm sort of not into worried about calling what's happening because mainly I'm w I'm looking at things that I believe are, are kind and giving and loving and caring. Yeah, and we got the good. We got we got the. And we and here. we did. Uh, this, you know, this is an image that speaks of Paul <laughs> Clackus's uh, <laughs> consciousness. Well, we actually yeah. trademarked the uh, this image actually, mm -hmm. and uh, um, and we do have it in multicultural A faces. smiley face. Yeah. You know, I think maybe why don't we show a piece of video? Yes. Okay. All right. So we've now it. created yeah. a uh, um, a TV pilot. Okay, so we have the website. We have almost uh, okay. 4,500 shows on Good News. 4,500? I've done about 3,500 interviews. And you're in front of the camera considering And I'm the host. You're the host? And I've done most of those so interviews. So you've gone from behind the camera only right. to in front of the camera. Out of necessity. How do you like that translation? Out of I love it. You had to get I'm some addicted. Really, no, you had to get some really good talent. <laughs> You're you. right to cover me. No, 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 no. no. I, I, no it's not about I, me. No. I'm just, I don't hardly even, you know, I, I don't even read the books. I, uh, like, I've, uh, I, I've taken on this, uh, this concept persona, that yeah. it's like I met you at a restaurant, yeah. at, at a bar. Yeah. And we tell me what you do. Yeah. Okay. And he says, I wrote a book. And say, well, tell me about the book. Yeah. All right. So and I, everybody's so interesting. And everybody, and like, yeah, this yeah, is why you do what you've yeah, been doing for all we these years. Com that's why we get along so well. we got similar <laughs> views. Because we that, believe know. in others. I might people. delve into some of the politics a little more. But anyway, yeah, so you did that. So and we that's did you're it. doing 4,500 programs. We have about 4,500 shows And you shows put now. them on the net. They're all on goodnewsbroadcast.com. Okay, let me say it again. Goodnewsbroadcast.com is Correct. the site. Right? Correct. And there you can find a good number of those programs archived or you no? You can find, as of right now, we have only uh, up to 2007, and all the early Earlier year, we've run out of space. Our site is gigantic. You, you, we've run, run out, out of server, server space. space because there's so much content. I think there's more server I, space coming all the time out of the computer labs, and it's opening on an abundance to where we'll be able to put. Do you see the thing in the New York well, Times the other day which, about they had a thing in the New York Times Sunday section of the news and review, uh, the week in review, and they had a thing about um, input uh, information, and they had a, a bar graph. And they had the uh, 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 the Oxford English Dictionary was about this high, and they had the Encyclopedia Britannica was about this high in terms of word count and so on. And then they had Wikipedia, and it went to the top <laughs> of the page. And well, you know, and the servers are getting smaller and more yeah. uh, powerful. Right. So we're going to have and more reasonable uh, too. We're going to have more reasonable, and we're going to have unlimited bandwidth and things we can do. You got YouTube now which is a function of the computer development that makes possible things that were not possible out of the 100%. historical conditions. I, yeah. I agree. We, yeah. Uh, so we, the, yeah, the, the, it looks good on that it's front. Good. We, it's not that we ran a... I can't afford any more server space. Mm -hmm. So that's basically the bottom line. I can't afford to buy more server space right now uh -huh. um, because to go to the next level, I've actually used up the level of uh, the the, uh, the, the number one company for serving right uh -huh. now. Uh -huh. I've used up all the space. And you've investigated all the realities of it. And that. I know I know what to do next. I just need to make a couple, about, bucks a couple to, uh, bucks to, to, to pay for that next level. Or maybe level. somebody who's looking in could try to maybe get behind you in terms well, of Well, we're looking for an investor. We have yeah. a business 
business plan and uh, mm -hmm. ready to uh, uh, find a strategic partner yeah. or an investor to, mm -hmm. to move us to the next level. Yeah. Uh, actually very f uh, focused on that. We're out uh, uh, doing some sponsorship opportunities mm -hmm. on Good News as and well. And it's all on the web. And it's You're all on the web. Well, no, we, any cable we have or systems or what happens? I have, you know, I produce a couple of shows that, some, uh, that air on here, actually. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, and, uh, on Manhattan on Network. Manhattan yeah. Network. You know, they put them on Good News and then they're on Manhattan Network and uh -huh. I have some on the Hamptons. Yeah, they got New um, Tongue Dynasty Television here, too. Uh huh, right. And other access. They've got 3,000 facilities across the country using cable. Right. To distribute programs. Right. So that's another way We're gonna to We're going to go there now. Actually, I've decided now we've just cut, made some business arrangements and mm -hmm. signed some arrangements where we're going to be going out to quite a few new syndicated sources with yeah, our content. Right. We're getting more so and it's more exciting. capability all the time. And then you started that, and uh, congratulations on having got that done. 4,700 programs. You set up a studio. One other thing I want to say quick before we go to the clip is that you were always on Fifth Avenue. We've been there so many times. 17 years, set, yeah. set up 17 years, a long time, and a very, uh, you know, very volatile years and everything like that. And and so, and then it, you had to leave, and you've gone, and apparently you found a really good spot, one subway stop out in Brooklyn, <laughs> and you're very happy with that. It might be just worth mentioning. Uh, it's, it's wonderful. I'm very happy. We're building a uh, recycled studio, a green studio. Mm -hmm. The gentleman who uh, owns the uh, facility, Al uh, Atira, has uh, is a collector of stuff on the street, okay. and so we have uh, Chanel. Uh, with this we have uh, uh, You're uh, all your kinds show. of. You got uh, a great set. We got Grand Central <laughs> pieces. We uh, from the from the Polo Club. We have Luchows. We have all these things. We have public schools. Uh, the hinges. Everything is used. And I'm a kind of a street guy too. Yeah, I have right. paintings yeah. from my house. Or yeah, all. Right. Yeah. I never saw much sense in. So uh, you got a lot of material in that warehouse for sets. <laughs> the, we have Coney Island yeah, in that right, place, right. actually, literally. We have the, yeah. well, we have the uh, steeplechase, yeah, and steeple ser chase. seriously, we have yeah. uh -huh. the, the, the parts that he uh -huh. has. And so I have this gigantic prop place, and uh -huh. I'm a recyclable. And the one thing I want to make sure I don't forget to really promote, in yeah. a sense, because it's so important, yeah. is the Water Hour program. Okay, okay? that's, come, that's now know, current. Yeah. It's, uh, yeah. uh, we've done 30 hours of TV now uh -huh. on the Water okay. Hour, in addition right. to the 4,500 shows. Okay. But the Water Water Hour is, a, in essence, a collaboration with the World Water Rescue Foundation, Phil Sowers Group, and he, which helped okay. create the International Decade of Water. Okay, and March yeah. 22nd is uh, World Water Day. I want to comment. Is it really? I didn't and uh, okay, this will yeah. be the third year. And, mm -hmm. the, and Phil helped with the country of Tajikistan to uh, get the, all the countries of the world, mm -hmm. in the United Nations, to agree to a World Water Day okay, and have an international really, decade. Right, right. So um, we are become very... Water to me is like primo. Uh, it's going to kind become, of, uh, yeah, it really is, yeah, because the population is growing and so forth, and uh, yeah, it's a big, big issue. Some people say it's going to be bigger than oil. Oh, it's you know? much bigger yeah. than oil. In fact, mm -hmm. we had uh, Pete Seeger named it, and we have a song called Water Not Weapons, uh -huh. and actually we're playing it tonight. We're at uh -huh. the Yippie Museum, but oh, the, good. this is That's show great. will be... Where's that this down show, Yeah, yeah, I want to invite you to come tonight, and uh, well, okay, maybe. we, we yeah. have uh, that program and uh, I've I, last night I'm a little probably a little hyper here because yeah. I I was at the United Nations at uh, 1 a.m. in the morning uh -huh. because at uh, 1 48 or uh, 05 48 uh, uh, was the equinox I the equinox, vernal I mean, equinox yeah, right. which is the original uh, in some people's mind in uh, John McConnell's mind John McConnell okay. a wonderful guy his uh, Earth Day Earth the original Day. Earth Day yeah. was yeah. last night mm -hmm. and uh, in in many people's mind but Every day is Earth Day. What you time know. did it ring? Uh, at 1.48 in the morning, That's and we had a concert. Time, yeah. It wasn't the most convenient time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> and it was raining out, but we <laughs> love water. <laughs> so, so well, it, and the beautiful, we had the ambassador the peace from bell? Bangladesh. He yeah. rang it, uh -huh. and we had the Earth Society, and that was a good, beautiful thing. Uh -huh. And so we're, we're making a special that I love everybody to watch on you shot the Water the Hour. Rain? I videoed it, and it wasn't raining at that moment. Okay, God, good. it was good. See, they provided. They right? provided. And uh, so that's going to be part of this special. We also now, uh, and this is I'm very excited about, okay. um, UNICEF. Yeah. Um, and they're what they call the TAP uh, project. Okay. The TAP Let me project. Hold it up okay. Here. The TAP project this is a box that for, for TAP the project. children of the world mm -hmm. who don't have water, mm -hmm. the UNICEF uh, uh, group has 
uh, I just finished an interview. That will be on the website now as well. Now, this is a box with something in it. Maybe we're showing what's in the box. Or well, what we it is, we, we could show what's in the box, but bottom line basically is what it is, is that uh, <laughs> restaurants are uh, giving a dollar uh, yeah. for the water that's drank in the restaurants, uh -huh. and for one dollar they can feed a child with water for 40 days. Really? And okay. UNICEF is probably the largest uh, water giver to children worldwide. Is that right? And okay, they have these relationships with 190 yeah. countries. So that's going to be part of it. And uh -huh. actually, this is the biggest upset thing for me in my life, is that okay. uh, poor children, as we sit here right yeah, now, yeah. are going to die because they're, they can't get they a glass of water. water yeah. And they said, though, the number one thing was pneumonia mm -hmm. uh, for, for, for children passing. Not only uh, uh, water, which is the big concern, yeah. which is the reason for the water hour, because yeah, in that essence... Dehydrization? Dehydration, dehydration no? yeah. uh, unpurified water, and, yeah. uh, or no water. Yeah. And so these are... Big a big, 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 big subject. Subjects. And that, that, that has political ramifications, but mostly it's a matter of design and a sadness that these things, yeah, that's really good you're doing that. Okay, now, you've done all this, and we didn't get to Reed talking of water, but we will. Okay, Reed Stowe is a mutual friend of ours, particularly of yours, and other people, um, Emirate, um, uh, 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 Emirate, Carter Emirate up at the, uh, anyway, but you said you have a v DVD, or well, you have a little okay. clip or so something. We've, we've set finally, it up. Do you right, want to set up a clip? I will try my best. Okay, <laughs> all right. So we've now decided to make a television pilot program to make a, a weekly um, uh, good news broadcast. And the good news broadcast TV program, this one that you're going to see right now, mm -hmm. you're just going to see the opening. So it has a little commercial at the beginning, and mm -hmm. then you have a actually a commercial for good news broadcast, and yeah. then you have our opening, and then you'll see a host, uh, Dr. Amora Rochelle, with me, and, uh, uh -huh. and our show. We have pictures with the happy face with all the five colors of the world, red, brown, uh, black, uh, white, and yellow. Uh -huh. And uh, this is our show. In this specific show, uh, we have Florence Henderson. I uh, have, uh, have uh, P Patrick McEnroe. I have uh, uh, a tremendous Florence group. Florence Hazel Henderson. No, Florence Henderson. Who's Florence Henderson? Florence Henderson is, uh, was the Brady Bunch mom. Oh, I'm sorry, yeah. Um, and, I'm uh, more familiar with... Um, Hazel Henderson. Hazel Henderson, okay. All the externalities. She's right, really and good. she's very good. I know her. water. Oh, she's issue. super, super she woman. She really is. Yeah. Super she, that's woman. important in a macroeconomic level thinking. Bring those externalities into the uh, economic equation. She's but, very Sorry, brilliant. I didn't know Florence. She's, she's very, well, in essence, uh, our pilot, I have Chevy Chase. I have a whole bunch of, Chevy Bill Chase, Box I've is going to be one of our hosts on this. So we have uh, uh, Thelonious Monk's son, Jr., yeah. uh, T.S. Monk, and uh, we have in this show Jane Fonda, Eve Ensler. So we have a real pilot. Jane Fonda? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you got some real and stars. So we got yeah. some big successful people. And this people is all in their about field. what? Good news broadcast. About the people good news doing, broadcast. As she's an talking about vagina monologues with yeah. Eve Ensler right. and about women being uh, abused. And that's what this little clip is. Uh, well, this is not going to take. You'll see little pieces of uh, in the opening of Pete Seeger. We do a whole piece on Pete. God bless And Pete uh, mm. uh, Joe Franklin. Yeah. And, uh, Mr. <laughs> Television himself. Yes, yes. He's done a few interviews. Yeah. And uh, <laughs> he's had done them all. He, he said he started before the when when the, when the Dead Sea was alive. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's got that Yiddish thing. Yeah. It's really good. It's yeah. very funny. So all here's right, the so opening of the show. All right, let's see if we can set that up and run We're working to make it up. Paul Slackers, and if we can set that up and up up get up and What's up with you? Let's get up and play. Do something. Stop slumping like a lump all day. Get on up. Come on. Get out the door. Let's shake that booty like never before. Let's run. Have fun. Let's jump and groove. Get up and get that body up. Make it move. Get up, get up, get up. Get up. Get up and play an hour a day. Ouch! Sorry. For cool playtime ideas, go online. Just don't stay long. Run, 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 run to get online. Listen to good news all the time. If you look for news that makes you feel so fine, tune in to good news when you get online. Life affirming, thought provoking stories and more. News that makes you smile before you walk out the door. If you're looking for news to enrich your mind. Tune into good news when you get online. Run, 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 run to get online. Listen to good news all the time. Run, 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 run to get online. Goodnewsbroadcast.com. Uh, 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 my name is That's always a good thing. Uh, it doesn't just teach you the book stuff. Uh, okay, great. Fantastic. That's always 
Welcome. Hi, my name is Paul Slackis, and this is Good News Broadcast. I thought I was supposed to start the show, Paul. Dr. Mora, um... Uh, uh, go ahead. I'm Dr. Moore Michelle. Thanks for joining us. And I'm the host of the Parents and Children's segment on Good News Broadcast. And i got to tell you, Paul, the focus out there is always on negative energy and bad news. And it's time that we give good news out there and we give news that provides solutions and answers and positive energy. And that's what we're doing here on Good News Broadcast. Yes, that's exactly what we're doing. Actually, we've been doing it for 10 years. That's great. And we've created 4,500 shows on goodnewsbroadcast.com with a mission of finding, receiving, or creating life-affirming, thought-provoking, good news, entertainment, and events, upbeat, uh, not beat-up news, positive news overall. And uh, we're basically non-sectarian, non-violent, non-judgmental, right. just positive news, people doing good for the world. And we've now created... And what you will see today is a one-hour uh, TV uh, program, of which it's uh, planned to be on each and every single day. And we welcome you to the program. And let's, let's get to the news. So let's get started. We have some great news for you today. We're speaking to Florence Henderson. She's the Brady Bunch mom. And she's speaking about family and food and the importance of that. So let's hear what she's got to say. Florence, uh, how are you? Oh, well, I'm good, Paul. How are you doing? Florence, I tell you, I've, <laughs> never, I've never been so good as the opportunity to, to be here with you. Well, thank you. And hey, I'm pretty it's lucky myself. Well, well, you know what? I did a cooking show on the National Network for nine years. And then I did a series on PBS uh, uh, called you know, Shortcut you know, Cooking. Curve. So you kind of gather from those shows that I, I don't... A week, need to spend a whole a lot of time in the kitchen. I'm interested in doing something that's uh, nutritious and delicious and quick. The family uh, world of sitting down all together as a family and discussing the day and the mm -hmm. future and so on and so forth, where do you think that is gone? Is that still around? Well, I, I think it is on some level. I, I wish people would be more aware of how important it is. You know, today with... Uh, with so much television, with Game Boys, with you know the computer, kids want to run off and <clears throat> and do those things, which is fine. But I do think it should be limited, and I think that families should try to spend uh, a short time together sharing a meal. I mean, that's when people talk. That's when they really share their honest feelings, and I think it gives a parent an opportunity to teach a child how to eat healthy. Next on Good News Broadcast, we have Chevy Chase at the annual benefit for the Samuel Waxman Research Foundation on cancer. And can you imagine, at their last annual benefit, they raised $4 million to advance research in cancer and to find a cure for those out there that are suffering from cancer. So Chevy Chase is doing great things out there, and he has a lot to say. So please, let's listen now. Hi, Paul Slackis, Good News Broadcast, speaking to Chevy Chase. Hi, Chevy. How are Hi. you? Good. How are you? I'm really good. Actually, you have no idea how uh, important this is for me to get to speak with you, because the last time we spoke, you were at a, an event. Paul Simon was appearing. It was uh, Spencer For Foreman in the hospital, the children's hospital. That's right, the, right. And the bus. that would. Uh, Irwin Redliner. Irwin uh, right. Redliner. And, uh, and I got over to interview you, which was I was so happy about. Out. And and guess what? The tape uh, broke. Uh, I cannot believe it. But it well, let's hope for the best. <laughs> so now to, this is a uh, sometimes you, sometimes you get a second chance. Congratulations! You're the host for this evening. Um, yeah. And uh, how's it going so far? Uh, how, do you, how do you see the entire evening? You see a lot of concerned people about breast cancer and about cancer overall no, in general. A lot of drunks. Okay. Basically. <laughs> and, uh, That's this a is a way party. Get your mind off it. <laughs> no, you know, I think that the, uh, the, the crowd is here. The, the, these benefits um, are rather remarkable. They raise a lot of money uh, for the, uh, the Waxman Foundation, and uh, which is good. And, and, uh, but when all is said and done, you know, you get a lot of hedge fund guys and uh, young people, you know, people in their 40s and uh, who just want to party, you know, want to have fun and uh, want to spend money, which is good for the auctions. And uh, I, I think that the, the subject itself of cancer and cancer research is not, it doesn't lend itself to an evening like this. It's everybody knows in their heart of hearts where the money's going. But um, 
it's not something that I'm going to make use of in my performance. Or, uh, it's certainly d difficult for a comedian, you know, to talk about cancer. So, and thank God, uh, knock on wood, we I don't have that issue in my family. But uh, I'm sure there are many people here who do have issues, and I I just think it's sort of out of bounds for the entertainment portion. Okay. Your, your wife is here, though, with you, right? And I believe she's wearing Margot Manhattan's, one of the, uh, the bracelets, right? All right. She Which is. is I got cufflinks. You got cufflinks? Yeah, I had to wear this shirt and tie just for the cufflinks. <laughs> okay, let's, uh, let's see sad, the it? cufflinks. There's the cufflinks. Oh, it's gorgeous. Uh, is it? Oh, I think so. And then there's one there. Oh, there's both yeah. on both sides. Well, the Margot's of course. Fantastic. Yeah. You have, to, you have to have both. And she's a, uh, but uh, usually they're not as uh, exquisite on both sides. One side is just that little uh, thing oh. that takes you half an hour or right. a quarter of a day. To now, this took me a half an hour to put on. <laughs> you couldn't quite fit them through the holes. <laughs> Thank you, Chevy Chase. Big honor to get to talk to Chevy. So now we're going down to Pennsylvania, where uh, Chris Epting is uh, part of a corporate uh, outreach for uh, doing good in the community. They're painting a landmark uh, shoe house as well as uh, raising uh, the awareness that uh, there are people that need shoes and people are donating them. So it's a nice thing. It's a lot of good news. So let's go to Chris. Hi, Chris. How are you? I'm good. How are you doing? Real well. I grew, I grew up in the shoe business, Chris. And so I really wanted to get to speak to you because, one, you're very uh, uh, quirky. Now, you're very innovative thank you. in what you're doing, and I thank you for doing it because these are landmarks, and I love happy, healthy landmarks such as this. So tell us about this larger shoe and why you're there. Well, the, the shoe is amazing. As a guy in the shoe business, you'll appreciate the fact that Malin Haynes built it. He was called, you know, he was kind of the shoe maven around here. He had a chain of shoe stores in Pennsylvania. And in 1948, he built this great monument, which is a fully functional, three-bedroom house to kind of promote his shoe business and also kind of promote himself and it was I, I think a, a real master stroke because over the years you know tens of thousands of people have stopped here to visit to have an ice cream to take a tour it's a classic roadside structure I, I'm here with part of the Hampton Hotel Save a Landmark program we're helping refurbish this landmark we came out yesterday with a bunch of employees and volunteers we've painted the entire shoe which is uh, no small feat. It's about 25 feet tall and 48 feet long. So it's been a real project, but a lot of fun. And uh, again, it's looking better than ever after today. Yeah, it's definitely not a small feat. It's a big uh, foot. Yes. <laughs> so um, what is the community like? And I, and I think that there's some real wonderful outreach here. I went to a website called giveshoes.org. Yeah. What's that about? Well, there's a group, uh, you know, that, that Hampton aligned themselves with for this particular refurbishment, whereby people are donating shoes, hundreds of pairs of shoes that go to those who are needy, who have been stricken by natural disasters all around the world. And in the last two days, just truckloads, carloads of people come up emptying their shoes here. They're being gathered up to the right of me here. It, it's really been an amazing process, not just fixing up the shoe house, but watching people give and give and give to help those that are less fortunate. Well, that's shoes for the souls. Uh, yes. Dot org and uh, step up Nashville Live, and there's a whole bunch of actually not COVID night. There's a, an event down there to, to I guess souls for shoes. Yeah, I think uh, Soul for Soul is the group here. They've all got very clever sort of double entendre names. I believe Soul, Soul for Soul is the outlet that's uh, working with Hampton here. And, uh, but they're all good, and they all generate this, this great goodwill. I know the people of, of York and the surrounding areas have been super generous with their shoes and their time and coming out. It's, it's all good, Chris. Uh, you're always doing good things. Hey, thanks, uh, man. Thanks for having me back, here. too. I like coming back on here. Thank you. Well, that was a lot of good news, no doubt about that. A lot of people are wearing shoes. So next we have from England, uh, Paul Potts. Paul Potts won the English uh, Idol, or where the American Idol actually originally began. Oh, okay, oh, good. That's good. That was funny. That thing right. was a shoe. That was a big shoe. That's right? a big shoe. That's a big, the soul. big yeah. shoe. Is that That's really say. good. The, the vibe is really good and everything like that. And they got all the drunks at the hedge fund guys. <laughs> I think it was funny. That's really good. You're really chugging it out, man. That's really yeah, good. We're, we're, we're very fortunate. What have you got? There's something to show now? No, no. This is a, to remind me of the other things that are on this uh, on this show. You oh, know, I uh, see. Yeah. So I was forgetting, you know, to talk about some of the 
good people that are on this pilot program. So, so we have many subjects for right. good news, you uh -huh. know, overcoming obstacles, pets yeah, and animals. Yeah, when you think about it, there, are, there is a lot of good it's news, a, it's isn't there? Yeah, it's a billion to one, Harold. It's a billion to one. the bad, it, right? Uh, you uh, think the course. good always the bad, right? The bad is minimal. Well, you're going with a vision that you believe in, and that's really good, and you can support that, and I really congratulate you. First class stuff, first class production. You got a lot of experience you can bring to that, and congratulations on it, and the new venue. It's probably going to work out better for you. It's just a couple stops out in yes. Brooklyn, right? Right, right, right. Okay, that's really good. That's really good. Now, we did mention something else. Let's make sure we get it in. We're talking about the waterworks, or the water day, and that's really important. So let's just mention our mutual friend, Reed Stowe. I'd be happy we, to. Because you've been sure. very instrumental in that. And t t you talk to who Reed is and what's going on. Okay. All right. Well, Reed uh, has been a good friend for a bunch of years. Uh -huh. And uh, we, in fact, we just had a, a party at our new studio. The I opening know I party couldn't get there. I got the was notice, uh, I dedicated to actually Sonia. Was Sonia there? Sonia, yes, was there. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. So Reed Stowe, <laughs> I wish I had a, actually there is a whole segment at the yeah, end of the, this video uh, on Reed and, and Sonia. Mm -hmm that we could be showing, but in essence, uh, Reed is a gentleman who has a vision and mm -hmm. a mission and mm -hmm. has been working very hard for 20 years to build a, uh, um, uh, he built a boat with his brother and family, schooner. and uh, he had always dreamed about taking it around the world, mm -hmm. and uh, he's a visionary and wanted to bring it around the world for a thousand days. Yeah. Okay. Because a thousand he was, days. A thou a thousand days. Of only, land. You know, more than three years. Yes, that's right. And the plan is uh, based upon the fact that he sees that as being analogous to the uh, Mars space odyssey. That's why they call it the thousand day right, odyssey. Yeah, right. Right. That's how long it would take to get to Mars. Correct. And it's like a biosphere on the ocean. Correct. And he's not going to be resupplied. Correct. It's like a. Uh, it's He's got like all the food on here. The right. day he left out of uh, Hoboken, Hoboken, we were all there, weren't we? Right. Oh, you day. had all that video. Oh, of course, you did. I got video. Uh, Harold, him, yeah. this, Harold's on the bottom. In, oh. in, into everything positive. Four thousand eight hundred. How many of you got programmed? Oh. You're much more covering the lot than <laughs> yeah, I am. No, Paul, no, but we were whatever. there together. Yeah. We were there together. Reed's a great guy, and he built guy. that schooner by himself, lovingly. Yeah, with the family yeah. members yeah. and stuff. He, yeah, yeah. He's a. Uh, um, so he has this dedication to this. Uh, to this uh, uh, adventure, I guess you could call it, uh, an experience, an if educational. The, ex the Explorers Club said that if he pulls it off a thousand days at sea without sight, without resupply, he will be down in the book of the great explorers in the history of mankind. Well, what's happened? A uh, little fast forward now. So yeah, he's but out, he's let's not forget that he didn't go all by himself this time. Right. So that's where I was going to okay. take the conversation. Okay. Was that uh, he left with uh, Sonia Arman. Mm -hmm. And Sonia, um, a, a, a friend for Reed, mm -hmm. who uh, just basically never was a real sailor Only on the Hudson. Only on the Hudson, up and down we would go. And so she uh, really had minimal experience, but believed in the mission as well, and mm -hmm. agreed to go on this mm -hmm. uh, voyage with mm -hmm. Reed. She's a young woman in her early 20s, mm -hmm. and uh, Reed's uh, about 50 or so, yeah. and, uh, but he's He's been around, you know. Oh, he's been yeah. in Antarctica, yeah. and they, you know, he's he's a sailor man. Yeah, he really he, is. This guy's a great. It's guy. beautiful to watch him he on a boat. He is indeed. Just he's to beautiful watch to his, watch him at any place. His, he's his, just uh, a beautiful guy. He's, and he's talented in many respects. Yeah, he's, he's an a artist. and an yeah, artist, yeah, right? Yeah. Yeah. We're gonna have an art show. Uh, somebody was telling me some of his, yeah, his, his, his stuff. Yeah, and you've been a supporter of him. Well, I've been a supporter because I, I love when somebody has that kind of a passion, and uh, we were able to bring kids down there, and they could teach about. The ocean. the ocean and yeah. the water and uh, how to, you know, fish and he's very environmentally minded. Yeah, he grow sure bean is. sprouts and things mm -hmm. and so so it's all good and yeah. uh, so uh, they collect he, the rainwater from the collects sky. the rainwater and the sails. Mm -hmm. They got a stove they uh, can build. They can make heat on the boat when they need make to heat. by I mean, just picking up logs. It's a, he's, he's it's got a everything. biosphere of it the is. ocean. It is. Yeah. So so he left with her uh, and with Sonia and uh, they were out for a uh, actually a short time. Mm -hmm. Must be only like two three weeks. And they got hit initially. Yeah, by a they got the bowsprung, and, and so he fixed that enough to continue on. Mm -hmm. And they continued, and they've gone. They went about three hundred, and actually, as Sonia would say, three hundred and five days. Right. right. And then long Sonia time, for about three time. a long time. Yeah. This woman deserves a tremendous amount of. Uh, Columbus of, was only uh, thirty three days, and well, they were freaking out. 
a sailor, mm. a sailor, the mm. longest a sailor will ever go out is up to four months. Mm -hmm. That's it. Okay. Mm -hmm. So what's that? Mm -hmm. Four times thirty is hundred twenty yeah. days. Yeah, she, this woman is going out for three hundred days. She started, and when they hit the South, uh, Atlanta, the, the uh, South, South Indian Ocean. Uh, South Indian oh, Ocean. Oh, you've got here. the map of the world. Well, this is our hug of planets. Here's our hug of planet. Uh, our friends. So uh, they uh, sailed from Hoboken, and they're, they're going to come back in two thousand and ten. They sailed from here. They went around here a couple times, and then around South. Africa and then across the Indian Ocean and they got rough seas and she got seasick. Correct. Yes. In serious dimension. And so serious. she had to she had to come off. off the boat. Had to come off at Perth, near Perth, Australia. You got it. Just and a few days ago. And the gentleman, uh, so she, they never did want to get uh, near any people or anything like that. Mm -hmm. He's a, you know, a real uh, stickler on it all. However, she was sick. Yeah. And uh, so they were able to, uh, fortunately, Mm -hmm. They were able to be uh, close to the, I think, uh, the, the Perth uh, yeah, the uh, Royalty uh, uh, Boat Club. Boat club. Mm. Uh, and the gentleman who has the record yeah. of 600-plus days yeah. uh, out at sea. Or no, Australian. Uh, Australian, I, Australian, I yeah, think. Yeah, I think yeah, he's right, an right. Australian. Yeah. You know, the Australians in New Zealand, yeah, they're, they're out of control with this yeah. uh, boating stuff. Yeah, so. right. Uh, <laughs> well, <laughs> so they're all over he, in the, he, the uh, world. Yeah, that's their, you know. Mm. So he, they came out and, in essence, uh, called rescued. He, they took her off the boat. Yeah. And, uh, you know, and, and he uh, was able to see land on, because they couldn't do it far enough at sea so they wouldn't see I land. I guess but that that's probably. A technicality. You know, it's he's off sailing by himself now. Whatever. And you had an event the other night. I couldn't get to it. I wanted. Yeah, where Sonia was back in New York. Sonia was back. We well did a show everything. with Sonia. She's a fascinating. You should have her on she the show. Is, She's yeah. a fascinating woman, well spoken. Mm -hmm. You know this with Carter. We uh, Carter Emmerich. Emmerich, who you had on the show, I know. Yeah, also. he's a great guy. He has uh, was ranged at every first Tuesday of the month uh, up at the Museum of Natural History mm -hmm. in the uh, in the planetarium. Uh -huh. We would uh, read with Colin. So I'm the lucky guy who was actually. Previous to this, he went out for six months earlier than yeah. this voyage. Yeah. And Reed has been calling me, and I re record it because uh -huh. I was set up for his first time. He went out for six months, you right. know, uh, yeah. oh, you with Laurence yeah. uh, uh, the first time, uh -huh. and now this time, uh, I, once a week, Reed uh -huh. calls me. Yeah. And you, I told you, did him. Did you arrange for the Iridium connection? They had only an I Iridium did get him connection? a phone uh, through yeah. uh, through friends. So that was their the, communication back through IBM. They couldn't yes, get, they, like they, the satellite and everything. They right, can't we, have that. Or they didn't get the TV. Right. We had the phone, so he calls me, and I record it. Yeah, I know. So on Good News Broadcast. Dot com. You go to Reed and Lawrence. I'll read in Sonia, actually. You got Reed a link Lawrence to his also. link then to a and thousand, then a thousand days. Days net also. Yeah. Uh -huh. um, you know, we're all in it together. So. And Carter is tracking him. And Carter tracks and him once a month. And he tried to get large-scale corporate support for that. Wasn't able to get the kind of scale that Correct. he probably deserved. Right. But what he did get was some of the best people in the world are in his corner as ground crew, and you're one of those people, and Carter's another. We have a, uh, we have a very uh, great a cyber skill. A bunch of group uh, people who really are believers in, in Reed and what he does. Because it's a great adventure and it's a great venturing which is part of the human spirit. And he's a good guy. He he's, is he's Reed. A, he's a, he's oh, a Carter real, or Reed? They're, uh, both, uh, good they're both good guys. Uh, you know, he's so giving. You know, you go out when we went out on his boat all the time. Yeah. We feed everybody at the end. And yeah. He's a, he's, a, he's a good spirit. He's a good guy. Real he's good, a good that's spirit. Good, he's good news. Oh, he's I would say fun. he's good news, don't you? Oh, 100%. Yeah, and that's why you got him on your <laughs> side and everything. 100%. And it might be worth mentioning that Carter's got these planetariums. We went there to visit because MNN, we went with some people from MNN because they're interested. He and the fellow that runs the thing up there, the I forget his name, DeGrasso or something. Right. But they're interested in outreach and they're interested in access because access is outreach. And that's the largest, those planetariums are the largest visual display screen in the world. And the cyber developments that are coming, it, it makes IMAX look like a uh, television screen. Yeah. The, the thing. And they've, they've been able to enhance... There were two guys from Sweden. There was just a handful in the planetarium when he demonstrated, including the boat, a model of the boat, the the Anne, uh, reasonable, but that they they're able to get the, the the clarity and so forth, something like 50 times more than anything they've ever yeah, been able to do. So the edge and they got life. They've got things on Earth as well as astrophysics. He's an astro visualizer, but those planetarium screens around the world, about 50, a camaraderie, those are the largest video display screens in the world, and they're coming into incredible clarity and sources of educational presentation with sound 
and visuals that will absolutely knock your socks off. It's good to keep that in mind yeah. if you're in the video world. Yeah, it's a great place to go. That's the biggest display screen in the world. Yeah, it's magnificent. It's magnificent. Yeah. So magnificent. anyway, we, that's so that's it's all it's all you know it's, it's all, all good news. It's all good. It's all yeah. positive, and we get to talk to Reed about. Uh, you know, besides his food, about his exercise, or you know, he's, he's a phys it's a physical job. Pick now, great one man, shape. one man on the on yeah, the, on yeah, the ship running like that this, ship, uh, and he knows how to do it. A real sailor man. He's so, a real sailor man. Okay, now that's great. There's so much good news in this world. I don't know how many things we could talk about, but we got another clip, right? You got another. Yeah, clip? Yeah, why don't we just show the clip? Yeah. I tell you, the reason why I like this clip. First of all, it was a, an intern, George, uh, who uh, who who created these. Uh, uh, sort of like openings for different subjects uh -huh. of good news. I think they're just creatively well done, uh -huh. and I'm very proud to, uh, to to show them. Yeah, it's a can. very it's a very important art form. You know, the, animation has become so popular. Absolutely, and, and you can do so how much they with do it. it. How did they do it? I watched a movie about the Happy Feet. Have you seen that? I didn't Have see you Happy seen Feet. That I'd on HBO? It's incredible I'd, I'd about love the to penguins. See it. It was really good. And how in the was world? Was it Happy Feet or the, no, the other Happy penguin? The first penguin movie. No, that was March of the Penguins. March of the Penguins. No, this right. one's Happy Feet. Yeah, it's all animated. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All yeah. animated. It's great. It's, it's really great. The guy is a penguin that instead of singing, he doesn't know how to sing, but he knows how to dance. Oh, is that right? And he <laughs> saves the world. It's a great thing. But the, oh. uh, the animation is so good. I don't know how it's done, but it's really a big art form. I'd love to go see how it's done, like making sausage, maybe. I don't know, but it really <laughs> is good. But anyway, so it's we're going to... It's out there. So I, I, we have a few, a few minutes. Yeah, some now of this, this clip, if I'm not mistaken, doesn't have any audio, so it doesn't have keep any the sound. mics open, we can talk over Yeah, it, that'd right? be good. If that'd they can good. set there it up. Go. Okay, yeah, so, so we can talk over So each one of these are, uh, we before, so here's Reed's, actually. Uh, yeah. So I, all I said to this uh, uh, gentleman was, uh, you know, I told him the situation, and and he used his own vision to uh, to create them. So, uh, arts and leisure, uh, uh, this this segment. So each segment, which is a subject on Good News Broadcast, right, right. We have a, so these a, a are segues segment. like there's, yeah. there's segments for the TV show as well as the the website. So, so these are segues between the segments. Is that it? Well, you no, these no? are just like so. T. S. Monk will come on after this. So it says arts and leisure. T. S. Monk is oh, the host I see. So they got music. a thing at a piano. Yeah, okay. Or I yeah. have uh, Marcello Padilla. He does the movies. And yeah. And I have uh, different hosts like uh, Amora, who you saw before. She does. Uh, uh, children and relationships. So each one has. Uh, this is overcoming obstacles. You know, you don't want to put too many wires in a uh, uh, and cause a fire. You know, the Red Cross. Uh, uh -huh. uh, the number one thing that the Red Cross does is deal with household fires. Is that right? That's yeah, right. Very right. serious stuff. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. So uh, this one is um, learning and so on with the books and so on and so forth. Media. Um, so I just uh, so that would they, be a they show our different subjects. Yeah, that would be a good thing to have here at MNN. So people who are putting programs together could have this kind of thing as segue as things. This is good. Yeah, it's a good so he's, a, he's, he's an intern with you. Who put this together. Yeah, he was, and uh, he's he's moved on, and now and doing some other things. But uh, yeah, it was uh, you know it's just as fun. So it just kind of shows. This is a Bill Boggs segment. Uh, uh -huh. You know what it takes, boy. Bill just I, I saw his show up in the Triad uh, uh -huh. on Tuesday. Great show. Uh -huh. Got what it takes. Mm -hmm. uh, here's how he's interviewed a ton. He had some great stuff with uh, from uh, Sinatra and uh, and uh, and uh, oh, just the uh, classic Sophia Loren and okay. all stuff. Okay, okay, so well, it's, it's all really good. good. Well, it's all good. Yeah, it's all good news, and it's all Paul Sla Slackers. And really, thank you. Sorry, we're running else. short on time. We could talk forever, but j I really, you know, it's really good, Paul, and it's really good to know that you got that new place and things are moving well. Happy to report things are moving pretty well in public access. Also, yes, a congratulations. Relationship. This today. gentleman, he gave me the honor to interview you. Oh, I did one time. Uh, one I time. droned on forever and ever <laughs> yeah, and everything, uh, but you uh, put up with it. And well, I thank because you, you for started this, and you're the believer. Well, of all I'm believers. at the producers then, but there's some people who started it institutionally, and that's very important, and it's happening, and it's happening in your realm, it's happening in ours. There may be some good hope for this after all the bad news we get on the news these days and so forth, and uh, and if there are ideas that are going to meld those things and make a difference, it's probably going to come out on medium like the media like this rather more than the established ones, I would submit, possibly, like good news broadcasting and public access. It seems to me we've got a camaraderie between the spirit. 
that motivates both. And so, Paul, so good to see you. Congratulations on Thank your, you. on your you. success. Help. And that's what it is. And uh, really happy to have been able to welcome you to the program as always. It's always good to talk to Paul because he's always got good news on the mind and that's a good thing to have so thank you very much for viewing we could run the credits i hope now then and um, we can just chat after and as the credits are rolling but so good for coming in sorry we run out of time we go on talking forever <laughs> you know but uh, well, we so that place is really good out there and it's very close it just takes no time to get out there i guess uh, no an time express there. stop oh uh, yeah it's yeah Nevin street boom that's really three, good two three four five and that's where boom. you're operating from now. so yeah we, and we have twice the space we had we have a big tv studio uh -huh. And it's, as I said, it's a recycled studio and, uh -huh. uh, um, and big. 